border crossing went smooth. They sort of got weirded out that the truck and the trailer had different uh, state licenses, but I explained that we were borrowing it and it was all good to go. Look at that thing. It looks so cool. Yeah. Aside from the fact that we almost got stabbed by a bum, so far everything's been going very smooth. Ah, uh, I don't want to drive again. Where are we going? Yeah, where are we headed now? Are we through here? Vancouver to the sea to Sky Highway? To the sea to Sky Highway? What about food? Yeah. Tim Hortons? The donut shop? I want like a wrap, like a yeah. tasty wrap or like a... There's, there always is Chinatown. No. Oh. Hold together, old girl. I'm gonna get you treated up nice and right when we get back. <laughs> Strange looking, it looks like Hogwarts. If like Hogwarts, if, if there was like an inner city Canadian Hogwarts, that's what they look like. All of their buildings, they all have like weird pointy, sort of almost Asian themed buildings. Did not look like uh, North Korea or something. Like all these, this is, yeah, the South Korea has got a lot of these. This looks, yeah, they all look the same. arrived at Shannon Falls. It's a massive waterfall that comes off of this mountain face. You might be able to see it through the trees there. Super cool. I was a little hesitant to come here. Luke really wanted to check it out. Sad story about these falls. Um, the, the channel that inspired me to like get back into filming more regularly and change my life. I, there was a channel called High on Life. Uh, just like last year or the year before. I think it's been two years. Uh, two of the main members and one of their girlfriends actually fell off the top of the waterfall, tumbling all the way down, and they all three died, unfortunately. So I'm not a huge fan of stopping here, but it's gonna be pretty cool, very scenic, and we're not gonna go to the top. Yeah, super sad for me. Super, uh, you know how you get attached to your favorite YouTubers. You feel like they're 
members of the family, and then they're just gone. But they were doing what they love, chasing, you know, this beautiful scenery, trying to capture inspiring content for their audience. And I think the full story, I could totally be wrong. I think one of the girlfriends fell in and the two dudes uh, jumped in to try to save her. And it's a super sad reminder for me because I have a really close family friend that got swept underneath a really large waterfall in Washington and unfortunately died. So, whew, as much as we are getting some fun content, I'm gonna make sure that we go home to our families. Oops. Two o'clock, we still gotta find a nice trail to tuck ourselves away up into. Uh, we're gonna take the camper up and try to find some snow and do some snow camping today. We still gotta find groceries, groceries. and yeah, firewood. Maybe we shouldn't go up. We all know yeah. how long grocery shopping we can just, Oh, we are so indecisive. <laughs> Let's go around the corner and see what we got. We only need groceries for one night, so that shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hot dogs and mac and cheese. Every yeah, we've been there, we every know. Every time it's like three Costco hours later. Side. We're still in the store. <laughs> Justin, we got ourselves some real Canadian maple syrup, 100% oh, yeah. pure. This is the good stuff. It's going on everything tonight. Luke, maple syrup. What do you think? Oh, delicious. I thought that was liquor. No, nope. I was hoping it was liquor. No, it's pure maple syrup. Ah, so we okay. are in Canada, after all. Precious yeah. eggs. Yeah. That won't slide around. So we totally forgot pans. I just sort of like, I don't know, it just felt like this thing was ready to go. I just hitched it and left. I didn't think about it. It's down like this. Sweet, okay, so next step, we need to find some snow. The goal of this trip is to camp out in the snow. Unfortunately, the snow level's a lot lower than we thought, so we're running out of daylight. It's already three o'clock. We're not gonna have enough daylight if we don't try to find a trail like right now and head up as high as we can. So let's go, we'll go check the maps, but then hopefully find a trail quick. Woo! Starting to find some snow there. Oh yes. Okay, so basically we just looked at a map, tried to find like somewhere that was near a snowy area. The cool thing that I like about having like a rooftop tent or an off-road truck that has a camping setup, you know, behind it or something, is you can just find somewhere and pretty much camp anywhere. that was stolen from me, I just got another one. These are the Indeflates. So we're gonna air down, see if we got any tools. So I had one of these boxes, just like this, and had all my good stuff. Okay, luckily I have a shovel, so that's good. I had all my recovery gear in it, all my camping stuff, it was all jacked. One box was jacked, so. Oh, we're, we're trying to scout this out. This is like a sheet of ice underneath, like real slippery snow. We can air down, but all this is is like really steep switchbacks. And I'm not seeing it level out anytime soon. I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it. Yeah, we could turn around here maybe, nose in. It's just a matter of if we can get up this high. So you get a trailer stuck in that. We dig it. We all dig, and I have one little shovel. Oh.
I'm trying to straighten the trailer out without going over this edge. This is good, but it's, it's just a little too good. It's a little too steep. We want to find something a little more, more tame. Well, that was unfortunate. We, we tried to make it up, but and we probably could have if we aired down, we probably could have got a lot further, but not knowing. And just the way it was switchbacking and getting steeper and steeper, that was just really the wrong snow for that. And so, I'm gonna head back down, see if we can find something a little bit lower. We still wanna be in the snow, but I don't wanna be in like that much snow. That was like, that was like up to your knee in snow. A little too much for this kind of trip. We just want like a leisure snow trip. Right, boys? Yep. No, it's not doing anything. He almost lost his bags. That was a close one. Anything up fall out? No. No, you're good. <laughs> like I said, like I said, did anything fall out? <laughs> hey. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks. I'm good. I don't go down. Be aware of dogs. Someone's private property. Yeah, in my trap. We're really struggling to find a place to camp before we lose light. Unfortunately, we're just behind schedule on so many things, so many little things, that it's added up to a lot of lost time. The joy of having a camper hooked up to you is that we can really just park anywhere, and it's just part of the story. A lot of backing up today. <laughs> we don't want to go down there. Sounds like they have like rabid dogs. Trying something new here. All right. It is way later than we thought it'd be. Apparently this is the road that leads to the place that we're gonna go bungee jumping tomorrow, which is gonna be a whole new episode, so make sure you check that out. But somewhere along this road, we are officially camping. I'm just gonna say that right now. We're not gonna look for anything better. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe. That's a decent little, sp oh, oh, there's a trail. It's it's a trail too. That's, that's definitely. That's pretty. That's a, that's a prom. That's a promise. That's a promise I keep. <laughs> Should we walk it though? Having the trailer makes all of this a little bit more challenging. Oh shit! Dude, that's so deep. <laughs> Help me! There's no way you can pull a trailer through that. This is deeper than. Then the tongue just wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. Dude, think of how convenient tomorrow. All we have to do is wake up. Yeah, and we're in the park. Wake up and we're here in the parking lot where they're going to jump. Should almost get an earlier one. We should, yeah. What time we did noon? Yeah. Just be sitting around with our thumbs and our buns. Getting drunk. <laughs> getting drunk. <laughs> 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 now we're getting it. We're getting it. Woo! Luke. Not a happy camper. Why don't we just park under the bridge? What are this? What kind of weird circumstances? We literally just here we go. came across. Yeah, it's got a porta potty. It's got a porta potty. <laughs> this is. I don't. I this don't is any better overlanding this. at its finest. <laughs> I don't see it getting... Is this paved? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I don't see it getting any better. What if we back? Yeah, we should have. Hopefully we can find a way to light a fire of some kind. Let's make dinner. Woo! Party lights in here. Hey, what color party lights you boys like? You want some yellow? Yellow's nice and bright. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, it's a two burner. Hopefully there's enough fuel in the buddy heater. We really should have bought a lighter. How could we not? Ah, we got a pilot. See, and then we light it. 
So we're on the pilot light. Ha! I brought a lighter! Always thinking! So smart! Very, very smart man here. We should build a big fire over here. I want... We'll have a, a projector on the wall here. The amphitheater seats over here. We're gonna get a massage chair. Yeah. When one of those bubbly things that washes your feet. <laughs> It's all happening, it comes right out of the bean trailer. All we have to do is get a little bit of fire from there to here and we're good. Ah! <laughs> yes! We make fire! Get three burgers at once. Three burgers in one pan. Oh, weird. Weird how that works when you get the big pan, Luke. We wouldn't have fit this gourmet meal. You think we could fit all that meat in your pan? <laughs> I don't think so. Your pan's way too small. Here you go. Left. Get to turn it up, boy. Chicken <laughs> <laughs> and burgers can all fit on this big boy. Dude, this big boy's got all the meat. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> like, oh, our night was kind of a disaster. If we had just like the rooftop tent, this would kind of suck. This is pretty nice. I, I like this. Yeah, so like the whole point of this trip is just to see if we like this style camping over rooftop tent camping. Obviously, it makes it harder for us to get into certain places. And that's a bummer, didn't really like that too much. But once you find a good, decent spot to whip all this stuff out, that's pretty nice. Uh, Real get nice. Right there, so get, get a plate, get a bun. Did we end up getting ketchup? Yes. Yes! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh. Good catch, your meat. All right, <laughs> I'm having peanut butter and ketchup, bacon, and meat. Yeah. You ever done that? You ever had a peanut butter burger? Oh, what are you, Canadian? <laughs> it's well, it's good. It's like a good thing. There's a little extra condiment on there. You should try it sometime. Yeah. It's better with like mustard and ketchup and tomato and all that other good stuff, but we don't have that. Where have you tried that at? What at restaurant work. sells at work. it? At work. We do it at work all the time. It's good. We have like a jalapeno jelly oh, you yeah. put with it. It's yeah, so I've good. That. Or like a raspberry jam stuff you put in there. Ooh. Jam! Jam! <laughs> Dude, I still cannot believe that guy. What was his name? Bruce. Bruce. Bruce Campbell Silent. Look me up on YouTube, Bruce. I was a special like forces. Wow. <laughs> that was so weird. Baconator. We ha somehow ended up finding our camping spot, a pretty decent spot actually, <laughs> under the bridge that we're gonna jump off of tomorrow. We're not gonna see much. It's dark, but we'll go explore. So like, come us, come with us, and we'll. We'll go see what happens. That's gonna be us tomorrow. Oh, you can go tandem. <laughs> what? Oh, we, should do <laughs> we should go tandem. Can we go three? This guy looks terrified. That guy's gainering off. If he could do it, we could do it. Yeah. We should be able to do it. Maybe just don't tell them. They got a perfect safety record until tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Hundred and so that's 160. I'm glad it's in feet. Because everything weird. has been in meters. 160 I have no kilometers idea. there. Okay. Well, what is that? I don't know how tall that is. All right. An American company. Yeah, 160 feet. We're jumping off this thing tomorrow. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> I think gainering is what I'm gonna do. I think a gainer. Like I said, I think going head first, like into a dive, is almost the scariest thing you could do. I'd almost rather backflip <laughs> it. This is pretty scary just walking out here. <laughs> Dude, it, <laughs> it is this is sketchy. Uh, Cool. How do we always find ourselves in these crazy adventures? Man, this is so cool. You guys just gotta go out there and do stuff and find cool places. Oh, there's the bean trailer down there. Who's that? Why do you gotta say about? Why do you gotta talk about zombies, he's man? Like, he's like, how scary would it be if a zombie comes running? Just like, <laughs> this is gonna be so sketchy, that tomorrow. Is a dude. No way! No way! I can't even see the bottom. Oh my gosh! You think that's bear? Maybe cougar? That's got to be cougar, right? <laughs> it wasn't us. <laughs> it's so warm in here. It is nice. It's like a clubhouse. In this the, is the boys' clubhouse. The heat blows right on your feet. Oh, I call right here. You're in the middle. Wait, <laughs> I know, I, I call again. This is so sick. Dude, I... Uh... Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Three, two, one! <laughs> 